Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon Gentili here, Legacy Group Real Estate Team. The other day we did a video on the biggest myth when it comes to selling your home. Well, today we have the biggest myth about buying a home. One of the biggest myths about buying a home. What could it be? I want you guys to guess, see if anyone knows at all. Probably one of the biggest the biggest myth is something, there's, there's a few actually, but the biggest one that we see all the time is that, actually we're gonna be a bonus too, we'll give you one of the other ones, but one of the biggest ones we see is that you need 20% down to buy a home. The biggest myth, 20% down, uh-uh, no. This is probably one of the biggest myths I've seen so many people over the last handful of years, five years or so, uh, think this and not get a home or miss out on something, miss out on their dream home, whatever it is, because they thought they needed 20% down to buy a home. And this thing, we, we see it all the time, all the time. And for some reason, people still think you need 20% down to buy a home. And that couldn't be further from the truth. I would say, man, vast majority of the buyers I don't know the exact stat, but the vast majority of the people out there, especially millennials, the biggest segment, half of all home buyers are millennials right now. Uh, I would say almost none of them have 20% down. I would say probably about eight or nine out of 10 don't do 20% down. So uh, one of the biggest things, again, people do, there's so many different things you can do. VA loans, uh, rural development loans, zero down. Um, so if you have the ability to do that in a certain area, or if you have the ability to obtain a VA loan, which is a veteran's loan. Um, and again, there's ways to do that. If you need to know how to do that, contact us, contact your real estate professional. Um, but there's many ways to do that. Three and a half percent down, probably one of the biggest ways we see people do stuff, three and a half percent down FHA loan. Um, there are 3% conventional loans now. Uh, people are doing a lot of those. Um, so we're seeing that. We're seeing that a lot. Depends on the lender, depends on who's doing it. But uh, we see a lot of these, 3.5%, 3%, 5% conventional, 10% conventional, 15, 12, 11. You can do what you need to do, but you don't have to have 20% down. You can do zero down, like I said, zero, zero down VA, if I could write. Zero, zero down rural development. So there are some different ways you can do um, zero down loans, 3% conventional, 3.5% FHA. You can do uh, 203K loans, which are construction loans, which give you the ability to go into a home, do 3.5% down or 5% down or whatever, and then also have the bank finance up to $35,000 uh, which is a streamlined version, $35,000 in fixes for the home. Um, you can't buy TVs with it and things like that, but you know, fixing the home, new carpet, new, you know, pretty much whatever you can think of, um, you can get fixed and have the bank finance up to $35,000. So that is something else that can be done. Um, so again, there's so many options when it comes to lending. Uh, and if you're in the investing world, my gosh, there's, in, there's infinite options. There's, you know, private money. There is, uh, you know, crowdfunding, there are uh, angel investors, there's hard money. There's just so many different options out there that you have at your disposal to obtain a home, to get an investment property, whatever, whatever it may be. And it all goes back to this, it all goes back to 20% down. This is the biggest myth out there when it comes to buying a home. We still see it all the time. And years ago, it used to be the case, you know, you largely had to have 20% down, but now you, you don't. You, there's so many options, like I said, zero down, three, Three and a half percent, five, you can do whatever you want. Investors, like I said, there's a lot of different things you can do as an investor. Like I said, you can do private money, um, angel investing, um, you can do hard money, you can do crowdfunding. Um, there's, those are just some of the handful of ways that you can, you know, probably the biggest ways, some of the handful of ways. You can go to realty shares, um, just a bunch of different things you can do when it comes to obtaining financing for. Uh, for money, private, you know, private money, you can go to Uncle Joe, Uncle Jim, go get money from your family, whatever it may be. There's so many ways that you can get financing. Probably one of the biggest things I could impart on somebody and it really kind of changed my mind and my mindset in my life is Robert Kiyosaki and, and him talking about the philosophy of most people think 
oh, I can't afford that. That's kind of the first thought that crosses a lot of our minds. And uh, it was for mine for most of my life and until I was reading a number of his books and he always talks about and teaches that it's, it's opposite of that. It's how can I afford that? I want to get that investment property. I want to get this home or whatever it may be. How can I afford that? You know, how can we, we get that, obtain that? That's really the mindset that you need going forward when it comes to really anything in life, but especially a home or obtaining a home. When you say, how can I afford that? That's when things start to open up for you. Your mind starts to get creative. You start seeking people who know the right path and you start finding solutions instead of just blocking yourself in. When you say, I can't afford that, you automatically go into a shell, your brain shuts off and you're done. So I hope that helps. We love bringing this stuff to you guys. We appreciate your time and energy and all the questions you give. Again, this is something we did the biggest, this is the biggest myth when it comes to buying a home. We did the biggest myth selling a home. So go check our you know, Facebook page, it's on there. Go check you know, our YouTube page, it's in there. Um, and we talk about that, biggest myth selling a home. This is the biggest myth about buying a home. I hope that it helped you guys. We appreciate your feedback. We appreciate all the, uh, the questions you guys give us. And we appreciate your time and energy because in the end, it's the most important thing that we all have. So we appreciate you guys a ton and we'll see you soon.